What I'd like to do is be, a, get, be able to sort of feel like I'm compressing that ball on the nine shot. A lot of people feel the game's beating them. The information that they're getting is not really helping. I'm just learning how to use the hammer, that's all. That's it. That's a totally different side. It is. You put the brakes on, yeah. then you react to the end of the chain swinging as opposed to you still doing all the work. Got it. Yes. Golf shot. That will create a pull against me in the body. That's it. That's phenomenal. That's the top four line, isn't it? Yeah. That surprised you? Yes. So what would you like from today's session? What would make well, difference? okay, so what I'd like to do is be, a, get, be able to sort of feel like I'm compressing that ball on the nine shot. Okay. Really get my weight forward if that's what it is. Okay. And I want you to convince me, I suppose, that I don't have to get high if it's not the natural thing to do. You know what I mean? Because um, like most people, I'm sort of probably a little bit into it. Oh, sorry, out to me. Thin shots, scooting right or flipping, flipping to my back as well. So I think it's just like consistent, a good consistent line shot. I'd love to be able to hit it further. I don't, you know, my distance, distance is pretty crap. Your athleticism. Yes. Wow. I mean, I've got loads of flexibility. I don't get yeah. it. You know, I really do catch, you know, flip clubs. Awful to watch. I just cannot <laughs> watch myself. I cannot watch myself swing the clubs. Right. Oh. <laughs> I gave up on that long time ago. <laughs> so that's it in a nutshell. So what we'll do then, we'll do a few shots, start to get insight into your perception of what, what you're experiencing, what's, what you intend to do, what, what you've just experienced happen, yeah. and how you interpret that. Whatever you're doing presently is your best way at the moment of playing this game. You are acting at the moment optimally, yeah. but in respect of your expectation and knowledge of yourself, how you can move and your potential, it's suboptimal. Mm. But your body's doing the best it can, so we've got to find out what is the, where's the interference, what's the noise that's causing the body to adapt in what you would consider a suboptimal way. Yeah. Um, because you don't do this in any other form of your life. In golf, it seems to be unique in respect of we have introduced that much noise and interference just through essentially lifelong learning. You want to grab a mid iron, six, seven, eight iron Ralph. We'll hit a few shots. Any other injuries, past or present? No, not really. Well, none that are current. That's about one. And that one. Yeah, you know, I've, I think you know, I've got this thing in my head about being reluctant to smash it into the ground, you know. Okay, right, let's have a look. Yeah, we've got a bit of a mountain range, haven't <laughs> we? <laughs> yeah. You can't really fire that sequence with the lower body because the vertical's not there, so you're having to go to the upper body. So, essentially, um, you're going to the top the torque with the you know, spine, shoulders, wrists, and then therefore you fight. This is always happening. You're fighting that dynamic loft and that strike off the bottom, as we know. So uh, that's why strikes probably high up on the list because it's it's just the sense of a good shot. It's a feel of that we want to hit this thing out the central cushion. That's what really resonates. So very difficult to do. We're doing this. This line of pressure is not really, it's not rotating a great deal. We, we, want, to, we, we want to see some rotation to then go vertical. So I want you to bang the board back. Yeah, I want you to, I want, that will create a pull against me with your body. That's it. Swing it forward, swing it back. That's it. There we go. Now it's the back swing that I'm interested in here. Just notice what a difference that makes to the way, the way you use the board. Notice how the arms are just starting to relax. 
and that started to, there's not as much tension at the end. When I was holding your club earlier, you, and I said, just bang the board, it was like, you would eat, it's like your arms were concrete. Yes, what a goal shot. Different feel, Ralph? Yeah, um, I'm thinking about anything up here, actually. A lot of people feel the game's beating them. The information that they're getting is not really helping. And it gets to the point where you become a bit despondent and you become demotivated and yeah, you just, like you say, you start questioning why I'm playing. It's a big shame, especially when you can swing and play like you can. And the guy this morning as well, he was he was off eight and he was the same. Do you think of a, your club as a, an aeroplane yes. coming into land and it's doing it's kind of doing a touch and go, so it's coming in shallow, touching and then going. That's probably the, the impact we've got. It's more of a glance. Yeah. What we want is we want that nose dive. We want that kamikaze nose dive into the runway. Right. Okay. So if I've got a lot of um, extension here, look at the angle that that club's coming back at. I cannot get that any. I can't. I can't unless I do something with my body yeah. to try and get that lean nose down. I'm stuck. Right. But if I was here. Suddenly now I flex, more adducted, more kind of everything's here. Now I'm coming down, and I, but if I if I want to extend, I'm extending this way, down. No, just down. Yeah, so it's literally into the ground. Okay. So it's it's just flexing and extending now. Yes. But just let the club, just just your arms, let it go past your body. You don't have to rotate with it. Just let it's an arm exercise. So. Just up and down. It's literally up and down. That's it. So if I, if your life depended on it, and someone said one hand, you're gonna get that, you'd be like, you wouldn't be making big swings because you'd be like, just gonna get that. Right, that's how I'm doing it. How'd you do that when I did this? Yeah. It's kind of, it's just learning how to use the hammer. That's all. That's it. And just have to be tight. It can be like free, but it's going down. Yeah. It's not going forward to the target. It's going down to the ground. Yes. Uh -huh. Now let's use the one, two. Let's go forward, back, and through. We're yeah. using that. Use that counter move. That's it. You've got all that vertical force to use and apply. And then when you are going up, the club's going down. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Play around with the variability of it. This is good noise that you're working with. Yeah. Yeah. That was Gosh, a different ball yeah. flight as well. That was beautiful, wasn't it? That was like more like that, not yeah. a balloon. Not as high spin. No. Because you know if you were doing it, if you were something like that, you're obviously hitting it off the lower grooves, which spins it up. Oh, okay. So you get a gear effect. So you're not only adding loft, but you're adding spin. You can start to really let yourself go. Use that intent from the beginning with the force. Yes. Well done. Hold it there. Now notice you're not as over rotated with your upper body. So normally you're like over here. Okay. I just want you to recognise where you are. So what you what you let happen there was you start to let the end of the chain, your pivot's done its job. Okay. And now that was great. And then you're reacting because you put the brakes on, yeah. and then you're reacting to the end of the chain swinging as opposed to you still doing all the work. Got it. So we're not going flat out, so that's going to 
put stress on your shoulder, so it's more just what you want to do here. What's the kind of what's your intention? Yeah. There's a, there's, there's a softness and a, there's a fall to this. You see, this is falling. It's not active. Though. Okay. Extension, yeah. all that extension comes after, okay. not before. And then both hands and just same pace now. So just a three quarter easy, easy swing but with a very assertive release. Yes, there you go. Totally different action. Yeah, and then notice how you finish, balance. Kind of just everything just coordinated, sequenced, lovely size. That's it. Powerful. Yes. Golf shot. Great shot. That's lovely, that. That's the best one. Because that is like for your place. Perfect. Low spin, low trajectory. That, no, nothing's affecting that ball flight. I mean, if we walk out, it's windy out there. So it's like, it's picked up. Once you're here and going up, and this is going down, you, your low point's forward. Yes, hold well up. It's just a bit of face-to-path uh, -face stuff. So now start to sh change your swing direction, that's all. Shift yourself to the right, so if you wanna, if you wanna draw the ball now, Face influences where the ball starts, the swing direction is for the path and the curvature, so swinging to the right of the hoop. Mm -hmm. There we go. What a golf shot. Wow. Good. That is good. Purely by shifting swing direction, if you've been previously working on going left, thinking conceptually I've got to get wider and go left, you've been restricting yourself, constraining your movement in a way that's not afforded you the opportunity to actually shift your swing direction out to the right bit. Because that's not probably that far right, because you're hitting down on the ball, which gives you a path to the right anyway, so your swing direction is minimally to the right. It may feel a long way to the right, you swing there. Yeah. But in, in real terms, it's probably not really, because I mean, that's just a really beautiful draw. Very strong. That was shot all day. It was, wasn't it, yeah. I mean, that's a totally different side. It is. It? It's that path that's made it feel like if I do that path, that's just such, such, such a much, much nicer shot. Yeah. Less effort, everything. I think that big thing for me, actually, as well, is that one, two, three thing. Yeah. Yeah. Straight away, just doing that indicates there's yeah there's a meaning behind what you're doing there's an understanding there's a, there's a movement pattern there that you possess that you'd never access to all recruits in this way yeah. you've got all the movements it's getting it's coordinating them so what you have to do is react is reflect obviously react, you react to that because your most important shot in golf is your next one yeah so what do you do different now okay. to what you just did there yeah. so you didn't let the club react Leave it behind, it's got to stay behind you. So you know when you're tapping the ball, the club, when you feel the contact with the ball or the ground, that should be way up, that should be way up the three. It should be happening at the same time, so it's one, two, three, and then the club's way up. But when it's extended, it's going down and yeah. way up. Sure. Yeah, so it's it's more of an upbeat pressure shift. Whereas it's been more laboured before. It's not really accelerating, yeah, it's not been accelerating, decelerating, so you've not had that stability. That golf club's only going to do what your wrists are doing. Yeah. And your wrists are connected to your elbows, your shoulders, and so they're only reacting to the torso. And the torso's reacting to the pelvis, pelvis reacting to the lower body, lower body's using the ground. So it's like now you've got the chain. That's it, and then let's go further right here now. Okay. See if you can shift that swing direction further right. That's brilliant. Sure, that felt 
Oh, I felt like I was going towards that telegraph pole there. Yeah. That's amazing that you've been so far left. Yeah. Shall I try a different pub? Yeah, that's changed for Feel good? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's brilliant. Love it. A bit further then. Now you need to shift your direction a bit more to the right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Don't get a bit nervous. No. <laughs> Standing there, I mean. <laughs> We can do a lesson, oh, well, maybe, <laughs> but I know where we are now. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> Very good. I know it's a bit of a hook, but <laughs> strike. Yeah. So now you can start to go more to the right. Open the face a bit. You don't, you don't have to go to extreme release. Okay. Use, your, use the one, two, three. You don't need that tempo with the, with the pressure. That's phenomenal. That's, that's a proper four line, isn't it? Yeah. That surprised you? Yes. It's just it's so much less to think about. Oh. That's a beautiful ball fly. Awesome. Yeah. Feeling good? Feeling great, yeah. Feeling how's the swing feel effort wise? No effort. So you can set up, you're setting up too straight and too low. That looks like you're intent. You're looking at a target and not a wall fly. Okay. Wow. Still flying. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, that is so great. <laughs> that was awesome. That was uh, very much up here for me. Yeah. <laughs> Miles away from the ball, probably. Yeah. It's not like all stay on the ball, stay on the ball, cover it. Yeah. Like centered, all that stuff. It's like, and when you watch it back, you ain't moving miles off the ball. It's just that it's all these integrated joint actions that cumulatively feel big yeah, yeah, yeah. and feel so removed, far removed from where, what you used to do. But you're not. It still looks like you, and it's just a different kind of version of you. But it's you're still applying your style. It's just it's, re, it's reformed. Yeah. It's transformed, really. Yeah, that's that's just brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Happy with that? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Well done. That was great to watch. Happy with that? Really happy. That was awesome. So strike. We got that. <laughs> yes. But more importantly for me, I know you wanted to strike, but for me, because um, that's a generally a byproduct of it. We were, we were probably always going to get strike. For me, it was the ball fly, which is a, obviously a product of strike too, yeah. that is a function, but we have an attachment to movement. We could make a very similar movement, but we will experience it very different, and the attachments we, we have, we place on that are very different. So it's kind of, um, what's me, all it means is it's it's got to be meaningful to you. Now you've got tools. That's the thing. That's the tools. All right. I can speak to you all the moment, mate. That was awesome. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, can I just ask you about... Uh...